So I think that um, Gandhi as an individual was a great person, uh, but I'm not sure whether he as an individual matters as much as the ideas and the questions he was raising um, and his deeper call for us to move beyond uh, the systems that we inherited from the British and actually reimagine, uh, rethink, redefine, recreate new kinds of systems which are more in sync with the idea of Swaraj. So I think that's what we, our systems today that we have in place are absolutely destructive, violent and exploitative. Gandhi saw that a hundred years ago and he said we can't continue to do this and actually the freedom, purpose of the freedom struggle was not really about getting rid of the British. It was actually saying that these systems that we've inherited have been put in place are going to destroy India and destroy the world. The other reason for this, uh, I think, is the very clearly the education system. You know, the education system is really, I see, uh, at the roots of a lot of the modernized violence we see on the planet, where people don't, you know, and it starts because young people don't even have a sense of who they are what they're good at. They don't love themselves. They don't <laughs> respect themselves. So how are they going to respect somebody else? And then we have seen in the last, you know, 60 years of this modern education, a massive de-skilling of people. Like people had so many creative, creative processes, tools, things they didn't do how to do with their hands. And they have nothing now. They're going around just becoming beggars, asking for jobs and things. He talked about three things, the head, the heart, and the hands. And today, obviously, it only is the head. I would add a fourth thing called the home. How do we connect with nature and our sense of place? So these other things are being massively neglected. And so you have people who are walking around, young people who are, you know, no sense of future, no sense of hope. The irony of Gandhi is that his face is on the money system, which is actually, you know, a tool for global the global economy. Actually, our money system is totally been controlled now by the global economy and, and so his image sitting on that is actually totally contradictory to actually what he was talking about. But even beyond that is the murder of farmers that is happening in our country. That no child in our education system has any respect for farmers. None of them want to become farmers going forward. If by chance any child you know, happens to raise their hand and says, I would like farming, they become the laughing stock of the class and of the school. And so I think we have a deeper crisis even of what is our relationship with the land, with the soil, with the seeds, the idea of localization. Whatever we do should be supporting the local culture, local economy, and uh, local ecosystems. And in this kind of fake nationalism that we've had adopted, Everything local is being destroyed in this in favor of this abstraction called the nation, you know, and I think Gandhi itself was questioning that many years ago.